32. What feature characterizes the dynamic equilibrium between a liquid and its vapor in a closed container? Okay, so the first thing that comes to my mind is that basically we have a pot of boiling water. So here's my little pot, right, with the little handle. And inside we have the water, and water is blue, not green, right? And basically what's going to happen is we're going to close the lid, and let's just pretend it's like, you know, airtight. Nothing is going to get in. Nothing's going to get out. It's all covered. So here's my little... Here's my little cover, right? Maybe I'll put a little, maybe we'll be nice and we'll put like a little top on it. There you go. But basically, you're going to cover this and add some heat to it, right? So here's my little, either my electric stove or if you guys got a gas stove, you'll see the gas flames underneath, right? But inside that pot, it's going to get crazy in there, right? Because your water is going to start bubbling. But there's no gas that's going to be able to escape because you have that top lid on. But just know that at dynamic equilibrium, you have to be in a closed container because dynamic equilibrium suggests that your phase changes are happening in one way, and it's going in the other direction. So for example, since we're talking about water and we have liquid turning it into its vapor, we have at one point, we have the liquid water that's being turned into the vapor, aka the gas, so H2O gas. So at, at one point in time, since you have that closed container, the liquid is going to start, you know, the heat is going to overcome the intermolecular forces and the gas is going to expel outward. So from liquid to gas, this is vaporization. But at the same time, since this is dynamic equilibrium, the same time that the liquid is turning into the gas, the gas is coming back to liquid, and that's condensation. So that you can see, like kind of like when you open up you know, when you ready, when you're done boiling the water and you open it up and you see all those like water droplets on the top of your uh, cover, right? That's condensation. That was now when the gas that was here is now turning back into a liquid. So dynamic equilibrium is when the two phase changes happen together. So two phase changes happen and they happen together and at the same rate. So I'll put that down as well. And at the same rate. So at the rate in which all your liquid is turning into a gas, the same rate is the gas is being turned back into a liquid. It's condensing. Now, also, there are some other things when you hit dynamic equilibrium. This is a true phase change. And remember, when you are phase changing, your temperature is always going to remain constant during your phase change. So remain constant during dynamic equilibrium or your phase change. Now for water, since we're talking about liquid and gas, just know that the lucky number for water is always 100 degrees Celsius. It's 100 degrees Celsius in there in which the liquid's turning into a gas and the gas is turning into a liquid. Now, just know that also when you reach a constant temperature, that means that the pressure inside of here is going to start building and building and building until you reach the same rate when the gas turns into the vapor, the vapor turns into a gas, and also that's called the vapor pressure. So two things that's being constant here. Temperature is going to remain constant, and whatever is the vapor pressure that is of the phase change, that will remain constant as well. So we'll say vapor pressure will remain constant. And that's all of your characteristic features. 
So it's the two phase changes happening together at the same rate, temperature and vapor pressure will remain constant just as long as you're in that equilibrium, just as long as you're in that phase change. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Um, and let's just keep learning. All right. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day. Okay. Bye-bye.